please tuck that hand away under so that doesn't mm -hmm. get in the way. That's right, hold this arm with this hand and that's leg, lovely. Our present strategy at the moment is to give vaccines at the first lot of vaccines at two, three and four months. And essentially we start with the triple vaccine, the diphtheria, tetanus and whooping cough vaccine. Along with the sugar cubes, which is the, the oral polio vaccine. Are you struggling? Yeah. Good boy. So they have those at two, three and four months. Two new vaccines have been introduced for those periods as well. And they're mainly against meningitis. That's the hip vaccine. Uh, the Haemophilus influenza type B vaccine, which is, prevents meningitis and has had a huge contribution to decreasing the number of cases uh, due to Hib, and that's given at two, three, and four months. Also, the meningitis C vaccine. Oh, it's not quite over. It's nearly done. It's nearly done. Are you watching, Katie? And he is, uh, has just happened received the diphtheria and the tetanus and pertussis and that's mixed with the Haemophilus influenzae which we call HIV for short. He's also just had the polio vaccination which is orally, little drops into his mouth. And the second injection which I gave him was to protect him against meningitis C. So that's our, our lot at two, three and four months. The next vaccine after that is at between 13 and 15 months, which is the MMR, which is obviously very important. And then on after that is the preschool booster, which again is a, a diphtheria and tetanus booster, along with a whooping cough booster, which has recently been introduced by the government, and a booster MMR. And that's essentially our, our vaccine strategy. What do you think? Yucky. <laughs> yeah, yucky. It's not as nice as somebody.